All right, so they literally were like, this is gonna be so hot and the cheese is actually like, melted. So I'm eating lunch today and we're gonna talk about the Rolling Stone article that came out. <laughs> um, I had like mixed uh, mixed opinions about it. Honestly, like truthfully, just like so like thankful. Like I I, I, I like to say yes, like almost everything. Like I like when anybody wants to interview me for anything, I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Much less Rolling Stone. I was like, absolutely. Britney Spears has graced the cover so many times. And I was like, absolutely, I wanna do Rolling Stone. Um, and then I did the interview and the journalist was really, really nice. And she does a lot of amazing articles for Rolling Stone. And, um, I think that she was so nice and so like wonderful. I felt like I really opened up a lot, but maybe I opened up too much because, um, like the article was really nice. Like, I, let me just say the only thing that like made me feel like a little weird is just like talking about past relationships. There was a couple that were mentioned that I just like, uh, it just made me feel off, like not good after it. Like, obviously I could say no comment and I did say no comment to a lot of things and she was respectful of that, whatever. Um, but yeah, I felt like I was like opening up like too much and it just almost like made me feel like it took me back to that time and I was like why am I going back to that time when I'm like so happy right now like I'm currently seven months pregnant and just like living my best life and I was just like oh I just like wish I wouldn't have talked about like that stuff but other than that it was a good article they actually <laughs> mm. so when they reached out you know they I love doing the photo shoot <laughs> aspect of all these magazines mm. this is good so when they reach out they're like oh just like anything like casual at home whatever is you and I was like what's more me than cosplay so I really wanted to do Britney Spears cosplay covers of Rolling Stone. And <laughs> I don't know. I feel like at first they were like kind of unsure of it. So I didn't think they were going to use it because also I was five months pregnant at the time. So my belly just kind of looked like a belly. Um, but they actually used one in the on the homepage and I thought it was really cool. It is going to be in print, which I thought was like, absolutely. I'm going to say yes to that because yeah, in print. Mm. <laughs> I think it comes out maybe like next week, the new one. It's not the one with Christian Stewart. So I love going to a bookstore. We always go to Barnes and Noble and just look through magazines. So I was like, I, I'll be that person at the bookstore. I like <laughs> flipping through my, my section and like putting it there. Cause I've done a, a couple print cover magazines, but they're over in the UK. Like us just doesn't really do print that much unless it's like the big magazines. Um, so I'm really excited to like be able to go see it anyways. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like a fluff piece by any means. Um, I think the author, it was very nice like honestly like she she's gone in on some people for you know articles so i feel like she was really like pretty nice and um like as a mom we just like related a lot and like we did like talk off the record sometimes too and she was just like really really nice so it was great but <laughs> feels kind of weird because I've been doing so good at like staying in the current staying in the now which I think is the lesson for everyone is just like stay in the now because anything in the past is just never good good or bad just don't live in the past like when you're in the now it just feels better especially when the now is thriving some of my burger on TikTok it's really delicious actually so good um but yeah I love how the photos turned out I actually like love the articles like nice you know and the writer EJ was like honest with me she's like you know I'm gonna be real and I gotta show all size and you can't be just a fluffy piece and she did kind of warn me she's like I don't know something like you may not love what I write or something and so I was like a little more nervous but again it wasn't like horrible or bad um <laughs> it's cool like I'm really I've been sharing it it's like actually like I'm really flattered and honored and um she did acknowledge a lot in the article that she could see like changes in me you know there's times where she's like oh I don't know if like a baby in America can change someone but even the acknowledgement of like subtle little changes where I can admit where I'm wrong I can admit where I have like a bad take on something in the past where it's like I just wouldn't like I, I like when someone can acknowledge that because I do try really hard in all sincerity, I do try really hard to be like a better person and to be more open-minded and not to be so close-minded. I definitely don't want to troll anymore. Um, she references me talking about the Netflix movie about the chicken nugget and being like, I where's my royalty check as like trolling. So it's kind of hard to depict what you consider trolling if it's like a cute little troll where it's just like fun and like good humor, like, like being a chicken nugget on Netflix, whatever. Um, but as far as like making people upset, that's like the last thing I want to do. I do not want to offend anyone. I really try to be more, you know, truly, I just want to be better and like for my daughter for sure i do not want to embarrass her i do not want to have anything you know post my daughter's birth that 
could ever embarrass her or be like mom why would you think that whatever like i want her to live in a better world i want to be a better world truly however when people do acknowledge that like oh you know we can see some growth some whatever this car kind of moves sometimes um like i, I just want to be better because people are entertained now by me just being me without having to be like mean nasty offensive whatever and that like inspires me to just continue to be better and getting these great opportunities Rolling Stone, I just did a beauty campaign for Beauty Creations. I'm going to do a whole video about that for the pink cloud, pink um, setting powder. And just other stuff that has been, you know, coming my way. I've been just so grateful because it is like, I definitely have to fight to like, you know, repair my reputation. And I totally will do that till the, till the day I die, you know, because again, if it's not for my career, it's for my daughter, it's for whatever, you know what I mean? I love entertaining people. I feel like I always be online. It ended in a nice little line. It's like, even if like the internet was gone tomorrow, the world was gonna end. Like I'm sure we see Trisha Paytas like posting about it first. Like, I don't know. It had like it was it was it was an it was a pretty nice article and it, it was it was cool. And I really I did enjoy meeting the author. We had actually I actually talked to her years ago about a different article and I didn't even know. I didn't really put two and two together. And um, yeah. Anyways, it was nice that she even wanted to do a piece on me. Like I said, they kind of have to submit the subjects they want to do and like the fact that it got approved <laughs> was very nice. And she did tell me originally she wanted it to be like a mommy article, but it went a little bit of a different direction. What did I get? Realize don't put me on the homepage, so <laughs> I'll take it. Mm, this is so good. Mm. Because I really do believe, <clears throat> going back to the mommy base of the article, I think she wrote something along the lines like, I don't know if a baby or something can just changes someone automatically. I don't think it does for everyone. I, do, I think it does for the most people. Maybe not a full 360, 180, but I do think in general, parents just try to be better for their kids as best they can. Sometimes it doesn't like work out that way, but... I'm someone who will always say like a baby will change you completely. My daughter has taught me so much in like her year and a half of life that I'm just like, didn't even know, didn't, my eyes weren't open before. So I guess that kind of ties back to like things in the past and stuff. It just feels like a totally different person and different life. And I wish I had the wisdom back then to like do and see things different so I guess like I said like kind of going it backwards in the past was kind of like this like weird I don't know it's a weird feeling because I've done so much work to like not beat my past not live in my past forgive myself for my past and all that other stuff I talked too much my fries got cold you know what I've been weirdly craving? It's frozen lemonade. And the only place that you can go get it, that is at the grocery store to make it, is Chick-fil-A. So that I might have to go be at dessert. Because I want this frozen lemonade. I've been thinking about it for three days straight since like Sunday. It's Tuesday now. So like three days straight. So I'm going to go get it. And you guys come with me. This is a very low cut top for me. So, <laughs> so we did get the frozen lemonade. To me, it kind of just tastes like a, like a lemon milkshake. You guys, <laughs> how did I always go around with just like my boobs hanging out? I did not realize this was so low cut. And even though I'm staying in my car, it still feels, <laughs> I cover it with my brownie. This is one of the best brownies I've had. I always have Chick-fil-A brownies, but this is one of the best. These are kind of crumbly. This is like really, mmm. I have my guest coming in like 45 minutes. Just gonna give me that right amount of like a little sugar rush for the interview and I'm very excited for this one today. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I feel a little more calm. Whenever I don't eat, I didn't have breakfast this morning. 
whenever I don't eat, like, first thing in the morning, I feel like I get a little, like, my mind gets a little frantic. I think I was, like, overthinking everything. Because <laughs> I was doing this video, and I was thinking, like, do I even need to make this video? A lot of people online were, like, really happy for me and thought the article was, like, really great and cool. And here I am, like, overthinking, like, I need to explain myself. And I'm like, oh, Trish, you need to chill. You know what I need to do? I just need to eat. I'm really, truly. And it feels like so much better already. Anyways, check out my interview with Rolling Stone. It was nice. And the fact that anyone even cares to write an article about me is very nice and flattering. And then they're interested in my past, you know. It is what it is, right? been a good week i feel like this week only gets better and better towards the end of the week the pink cloud by beauty creations is coming out i'm super excited like i said i'm just the model for it it's not really like a collaboration or anything like they they have the product and they just of me to model for it because it's pink and i love pink and it was a very fun collaboration so i'm excited though i want to go look they are going to put it on like a billboard or something so i think it's going to come out this week so i'm excited for that this isn't really what I was looking for with frozen lemonade. I really wanted like, you know, the kind you get like a baseball game or something, but it's still good. It's really thick. Mm. I'm not gonna finish drinking it because it probably does have a lot of calories, but it was pretty good. I need to drink more water. Mm. all right guys thanks for listening to me blab on this channel i don't know what it is about this channel like we do so much with the podcast and the podcast is so long and we create so much content and then for patreon we do two videos a week so like i don't know something about this channel though is just like my baby and i can have a lot of fully go so thanks guys for being here i love you thanks for satisfying my pregnancy cravings and listening to my my, my random thoughts i don't even know what i said at the beginning of this video i should never film or talk to anyone before I eat. <laughs> I feel like it really does like skew with my brain. Like I already have a little bit of a chemical imbalance. I think not eating just kind of like attributes to that more. So <laughs> I need to keep eating breakfast. That's the moral of the story. All right. Love you guys. Check out Rolling Stone, rollingstone.com. Check out the new Rolling Stone issue. It's going to be a physical copy and I can't wait to go buy 20 of them. <laughs> Bye guys.